Too many L's. Who got the Sakai LDVs? Round two. Did you anyone get them? I tried. Guess what? L L L L dance L dance L L L L L dance. I got the L's L's. Um, but yeah, so too many L's of the Sakai um Nikes round two. I think I'm gonna be controversial here and say I'm. I think I might prefer the second batch of colorways to the first. I know this is crazy to say this, and I, I think most most likely they're not. If Nike put out one batch before the other, it's because the first batch is better. But I quite like the colors on this, man. I'm not going to lie, man. I'm not going to lie. And they remind me of what an actual LDV from, you know, the archives would actually look like, right? So you've got these two, you've got three pairs actually that came out, right? So the, as you guys are aware, the Nike um, LD, LD Waffle and Sakai, you know, shoe was, you know, probably maybe is the biggest shoe of this year, right? In terms of hype, in terms of just appeal. Not just a hype, in terms of, forget hype. I don't give a shit about resale. I'm not talking about StockX. I'm talking about people wearing them in data in the street. I've seen more people wear, wear the Sakai LDV, L, L, LD waffles, sorry, and uh, undercover ones than I have done any other hype shoe. Of course, apart from Yeezys that, are, you know, they're on perfect, perfect. Like I said, if you go to Shoreditch, if you go to Little Boutique Station, you're always going to see someone wearing a pair of Yeezy 350s, right? Whether it's, whether it's the new ones or the old ones, someone's always got a pair on. But in terms of just like general everyday people, I've seen more people wear these Sakai LD Dub waffles than any other shoe. They're everywhere. And it's a good thing too, because people are actually wearing them day and day. And that's what I love to see. And I guess if you're a designer and you've done a collaboration with Nike, it's all well and good than, you know, selling for a gazillion dollars on StockX. But the main reason why you did it is because you want to, you want to do, you want to, you want to have people actually wearing them. You want to be out in the street and see some kid wearing a shoe that you've spent six months or to a year designing, right? Going back and forth with people at fucking at Portland. But I'm a big fan of them. Honestly, I can honestly say that I think I prefer the second batch to the first. I know it's probably sacrilege and the sneakerheads out there burning their fucking Perspex box and throwing all their, you know, stupid, you know, socks in the bin. But honestly, I really, really like this. The, the second batch is amazing. So you've got this black and gray pair, right? Again, the standard, you know, Sakai take on the LD waffles. Everything sort of like stacked and doubled on top of each other from the midsole to the toe box, to the swoosh, to the heel tab, to the lace day, to the tongue. Everything is doubled up, but the black and gray, the black and gray pair are awesome, personally for me, in my opinion. I really like them, right? Then you've got, make sure this is up so you guys can see this one, right? Then you've got, then you've got the gray pair that looks splendid, like Zen. It's not even like a, it's not even like a mild gray. It's like a really like. Hopefully, it's not the camera that's just making them washed out like that. But I really like it. Sort of like a washed out gray, a little bit lighter than a, a New Balance gray for the most part. And then you've got this beautiful sort of like a biotech maybe not more so i don't know but these these look more like an archive these look like something you might pop into imagine if mom and pop store still existed these would be the colors that you'd see archive right like um vintage sorry um stuck in the back in the back cupboard somewhere right the midsole completely yellowed out this is what you'd see oh you know what i'd actually love to stain the pair of the midsoles actually that'd be so cool some people could stain them remember back in the day in cooking time people used to stain the midsole with tea bags the Air Max Lights that Nike fucked up on. Hopefully Nike bring those back out again, man. The Air Max Lights and actually put them out the right way or do them the, or retro them the right way. There was that stuff about them not having the right tooling for it. It's just, come on, man. But anyway, um, I like these, man. I think the second batch for me are the best. Again, I didn't get a pair. They're not going for, again, I'm not talking about hype, but just in terms of resellability because, you know, if you're able, if you're not, if you miss them out, if you missed out on them the first time around and you've got money, you can purchase them again. There are so much StockX in my size. I'm a size 11 US for about 300 quid. So, you know, again, if you, if you really want a pair, you can get them. I'm pretty sure retail was like 130 anyway. So if you don't want to faff around queuing up or you don't want to pay for bots and stuff, paying double for a pair of shoes that you're actually going to wear day in, day out, I'd do it in a heartbeat. People spend, if that and more on flipping designers, trainers that are probably, you know, 10 times worse than be well 10 times that are disgusting and not that comfortable but these i'm not sure how comfortable these are but you know in general just for terms of swag i'll get them i'll be all over them I'd, I'd literally wear all three pairs i think the first batch my favorite color was a reggae color that i call a reggae colorway i thought those were my favorite colorways and maybe the the the, the kind of navy color but again you know that's cutting at straws but i honestly have all three of these colorways they're sort of like green and purple black and gray and the gray itself like i have every single pair i'd wear them day in day out as well again not sure if how my toes will look in them because i'm just seeing the front of the toe box me and my fat toes i'm sure how that would hang in there but i would try my hardest man i really would try but yeah um 
they've gone been and gone so i'm not going to tell you where to go get them but if you want to go get them on resale they're probably available now on StockX. i'll put the link in the, in, the, in the description for you guys to check them out but yeah one of my favorite shoes this year easily easily one of my favorite shoes this year so so fucking good